Hello world though, this is Gemini Wolfstar Gaming, it's Anton, and welcome back to more Robotics Notes Dash. Last time we started on Juna's route, and her and Daru went to K Kagoshima, and Daru got started to get to know Juna, learning about her complex of being shy and introverted, and uh... We are now back in Tanigashima, and uh, we'll find out what's going on here in this parking lot. <laughs> Juntan did say she was counting on me, but... Oh, and by the way, uh, with... Uh, with going to Kagoshima, I had completely forgotten that we went there when we were on Idy's route. And I had gotten the same geotags as before. Then. So, I swear, it's like with some of the geotags, they don't say. Especially, like, if it's. Like, ID, for some odd reason, it won't save with ID. Uh, actually, I I wonder, is, no, June is red. It's like, why is it that some of them save and some of them don't? Maybe it's, maybe it's because like I'm on a different route, but it was like this the same exact information, so I don't know. Now that I'm here, I don't really know what to do. Hi, Gaito. <laughs> oh, yeah, Shukun. Kita, yo, Junchan, no, Tesdai, she could run the So you could only not on the kid, sir. Imano to Koro Koretu, the Arukoto Monaku. I mean, we have a plan to help Juna. That's any solid engine, I come at Tatoki, the catch, Karani, not the Agereba. Oh, don't worry about that, Kaito. <laughs> That's about all I can do. For now, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like Sumio goes full throttle into everything he does. <laughs> that guy must be one hell of a mover and shaker. <laughs> That's one way to put it. If he can throw an event like this just from selling candy. Yashio-kun watches Juntan run around the venue. I mean, she definitely seems to be a go-getter now. I mean, she was... I, I swear, it's like... She, she really has changed a lot since the first game. I can't deny that Juntan looks a little unreliable while working. What? A little unreliable? Why does he say that? But it's apparent that she's doing the best she can. Uh, to her, to the best of her ability, yes. I, I'm sure she is. She mentioned that her shyness was a strong sticking point for her. But if she's self-aware of it and is trying to move forward on her own, then I feel like she'll be okay. She definitely will, yes. 
A man enters my peripheral vision while I ruminate on the matter. A man? It's like, who, uh, who exactly? Sumio? Sawada? <laughs> it's like... Uh, uh, or Hiramu. That, that, that would be weird if Hiramu showed up. There's not too many men that we know in this game. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. So, uh, of course, Michi. It's like, how, how can I forget about Michi? <laughs> Although, it's, it's like, I, I give him so much shit last game with his uh, pro tipping. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, he, he is who he is, and, you know, that seems to be his biggest quirk, uh, giving these pro tips that really aren't pro tips. Hashida-san. <laughs> so, so, Hashida-san, Hashida-san. Have, wait, have Michi and Daru already met? I can't remember, it's, Michi hasn't been in this game much at all so far. So, yeah. <laughs> it's like, are we going to see very much of him in this game? I mean, I have already gotten th three endings. And I feel like... I have seen no hide, no hair of him since the beginning of the game. And c compared to the first game, it's like he was more, uh, way more of a presence in the first game than he is in this game so far. So it's like, what, how is Michi going to contribute to this game? If I recall correctly, Juntan told me that this teacher is supposed to represent Space Candy in the Battle Robots Tournament. Oh, that's right, yeah. It, um, Michi had gone to his nephew, who uh, was the next best uh, person to go to to do this. I figured he'd be a science teacher or something, but he looks more like a PE teacher. <laughs> I, I mean... Did the clothes give it away, Naru? <laughs> it's like... Whistle... Sweats... <laughs> that much is clear, judging by the whistle around his neck and the track jacket he's wearing. And the track jacket, of course. Apparently, he was the first president of the Central T Robot Club, and due to that connection, he's now their club supervisor. He doesn't look like he knows much about robots, but considering there are teenage neuroscience prod prodigies, well, maybe it's not that weird after all. それで道を何しにここにいや、ワイイズイヤー。今度のイベントのことで大徳とは話があってな。大徳は今度のお向こうに。あ。Having <laughs> spotted Michi she. <laughs> That's so weird to say. Juntan comes running over. Oh, Daitoku! Just a little bit of a story. And actually, the whole she suffix, I know nothing about. It's like, I... I I'm not entirely sure what she means. In the terms of uh, Japanese honorifics. I might, I might have to look that up, or, <laughs> or maybe someone can tell me. 
すみません先生今手が離せなくて少しだけ待ってもらっていいですかおしっかり働いてるな感心感心俺のことは気にするな適当に会場の中でも見ながら時間潰しておくからお願いしますなるべく早くに済ませますからあとは、ジュンタンバウディープリーアンドランバックアウトミチーシー・トゥーンスターアスということだ俺はちょっとブラブラしてくるよいってらっしゃいせいやミチー<笑>で、ヤシオキュンはアキタンとどこか行ったりとか<笑> It, ?Well, is seeing that a lot of this game is from Daru's point of view, I really wonder with like Akiho's route if Daru is gonna be like A witness to, yeah,、uh, to Kaito and Akiho like trying to you know, get, get back together. Or if it's just g o n n a be primarily from、uh, Kaito's point of view. I do really wonder that. Oki chan to? Nonda. なんでって Wait, so they're not dating? That's what it sounded like from what Juntan told me yesterday. And just as I debate whether or not to pry for further deets. <coughs> ah! What the heck? <laughs> It's like, who is lying? There we go, I just made that a verb. That sound effect. What the hell was that? Suddenly, a loud, a loud scream erupts from the back. Was it Michi? No, 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 What happened? What did he do? What, what did Michi do? Yashio Kyun dashes in the direction of the scream without waiting for my response. I obviously follow behind him. What happened, Michi? Did he run into something? Upon arrival, we find Michi Shi holding his right arm, lying by a collapsed prop. Collapsed prop? What? What happened, Michi? So, that's why I'm walking around. This thing? Judging by his wincing face, It seems like Michi Shi. Michi Shi. is in a lot of pain. Nagafuka, the sensei! It's like that, that wasn't like a run in, that was more like a. Uh, like a. walking gracefully. <laughs> It's like no urgency whatsoever, just walking gracefully. From a distance, <laughs> up to the whole situation here. And why are her eyes closed? <laughs> It's like, let me walk into frame 
Or w w walk from a distance with my eyes closed. Oh, Michi, is that you? I, I, <laughs> it's like, I can't see you. I have my eyes closed. Are you okay? Juntan arrives after us and freezes up as soon as she sees Michi Shi's condition. She covers her mouth with her right hand. She must be really shocked by all of this. <laughs> Juntan is on the verge of falling apart. Wait a minute. With Michi being hurt, is Juna panicking because if anything like if anything bad happens to Michi and he's unable to uh do what is expected of him from his uncle. Uh, Sumio is going to come and talk to Juna and try and convince her to take over, isn't he? Hmm. And that's why she's panicking. That's <laughs> Yashio-kun says in a bright tone that doesn't really match what just took place. I considered butting in. But hold my tongue to avoid saying something thoughtless. Smart move. Judging by Juntan's behavior and Yashio Kyun's handling of it, maybe she has some sort of trauma with these types of accidents. <laughs> I hope it isn't anything super serious. Michi Shi tells Junta not to worry multiple times before leaving the venue, holding his arm. Oh, come on, Daru. Don't hold back. It's like, tell them what you're thinking. Am I seeing things? Or tell them what you're seeing? What is... Zenchi Sanshukan? Ooh. Michi's gonna be out of commission for three weeks? Yeah, that's... That's gonna make uh, Sumio... Go straight to Juna. Definitely. Michishi came back from the clinic late that afternoon to inform us that his shoulder injury would take three weeks to heal completely. It looks perfectly fine on the outside, but hey. But hey? More like, but it's bad on the inside it's the it's like he, he's hurt it's gonna take time to heal <laughs> Juntan's face scrunches up again she's on the verge of bawling oh Juna oh don't cry it's like why are you apologizing Juna you didn't do anything yeah. It's like, listen to Michi, Juna. This is not your fault in any way, shape, or form. 
そうそう、ジェンちゃんが気にする必要ないよ。悪いのは勝手に転んだミッチーなんだから。From what I've been told, the prop was secured in place. Which means the showrunners aren't to blame. I mean, no one's to blame. Even so, Juntan remains distraught. I guess Akitan and Michishi are acting all bubbly to try and make her feel better. Uh, it's. it's gonna take more than that. For Juna to feel better. But it seems like everyone's forgetting about the bigger problem at hand. <laughs> A doofus? Yeah! Swan, swan! It's like, is that any way to talk about your former teacher, Akio? <laughs> まったく、教師でしょもっとしっかりしてもらわないと。面目ない。まあ、でもしばらく安静にしてれば大丈夫って話だから。I mean, it must be pretty bad if he has to, uh, if he's gonna be out of commission for three weeks. ちなみに、しばらくってどれくらいなのか詳しく。少なくとも2週間は動かすなってことだけど Two weeks So、uh, what happened、uh, three weeks Two weeks which means あれバトロボっていつだっけ、uh, it, That's gonna clash It, when the tournament is, it's gonna clash with、uh, Michi's recovery. Yeah. Michi, she unapologetically taps Juntan on her shoulder after she finally realizes the predicament she's been placed in. A, lot, a look of stunned shock runs across her face. Makasetazo, <laughs> Oh, Juna. It's like she, she's not prepared for this. She's not, she's not prepared at all to take Michi's place. But, <sighs> but maybe we can help her、uh, get to where she needs to be to take Michi's place. Maybe? The next day. Anu, sir, Jun Tung. <sighs> Couple of very big sighs. <laughs> Juntan isn't even trying to contain her listlessness. After Michi handled. handled? handed. her the responsibility of competing in the Battle Robots tournament yesterday, she obviously resisted as best as she could. I mean, she can resist all she wants, but in the end, it's like who else can do this? Battle Robots Tournament. Frau Tan and Subaru Kyun, both members of the Robot Club, have their own responsibilities to handle. So she couldn't, so she couldn't pass the task off to them. Yashio Kyun and Akitan offered to step in when they couldn't stand to she, see her struggle any longer. But. At the end of the day, after hearing about the incident, Candy san had the final say in the matter. <laughs> I mean, she does not. 
I mean, we've already gone over this. だって大会となると大勢の人が来るんですよ。テレビの取材も入るって言ってるし。そんな中で代表として出るなんて私にはとても。No. Oh. I mean, maybe I mean she needs help, clearly. It's like she's practically crying for help. Being as shy as she is, the mere thought of getting in front of a crowd like that must be nauseating for her. Uh, yeah, I, I'd imagine so. So, other than Juna, who else could possibly? do what is necessary for the battle robot tournament. I mean, everyone else seems to be busy. So, it's better Yeah, she tried to plead to Sumio, and he's like, nope, N no can do. Junton's request was instantly turned down with those simple words. Oh my god. Sumio, it's time. It, it's time to say goodbye to your bird. Let him be free. It's about time. Come on. Let him fly out the window. Let him be one with nature. That way you can focus all your efforts onto everything and not have to worry about some stupid bird. This parakeet is so annoying. Agreed. <laughs> Thank you for that, Naru. I was the first time to meet Mitsuhiko more than Junna-chan. But it's like she has performance anxiety. It's like it's it's not just about being introverted and shy. She also has performance anxiety. And that's a that's a big hurdle to get over. I mean just like trying to uh, just like trying to change being shy and introverted. I mean it's the same thing with Juna's in capability to perform on stage it even though that she's like into karate it's like she does that on her own time by herself she doesn't do it in front of a bunch of people she only and she only seems to do it in front of people who she's comfortable around you know, like Kaito and and all of her friends. So it's like with her trying to do this on stage in front of a big crowd of people, it's like she just completely shuts down, which I can completely understand. It's not just about stage fright. It's more than stage fright. でも私にはとても無理です。is she still considered an alumni even with her being uh graduated from high school <laughs> it's like um I'm not entirely sure how that works so 
それにこれは広報としての立派な仕事でもあるわしとしてもここは純奈ちゃんに決まってもらいたいどうじゃ純ちゃん can't say a thing in response and in the end わかりました she succumbs she has no choice but to nod Oh, Juna. Yep, but he d a m e d t n Those were the first words out of his mouth as he came by to check on her. I'm actually surprised that Kaito didn't come along. Tada no d a m e n a r a mada y o k a t a n d a k e d o n e Yes, <laughs> yes, it very much is an understatement. So, do you go to? それが社長ったら。さあさあ言っておくが、純奈ちゃんには我が社の看板を背負って出場してもらうわけだからの。エントリーするからには優勝以外は許せんぞ。That that's a big burden to put. On Juna's shoulders. It's like for Sumio to expect for her to win to get the championship. That's that. I feel like that's a not just a tall order, but like an impossible order since it's Juna we're dealing with. And it, he really is asking a lot of her. I, I feel like even more so than in the first game. So, t h a t a l o t of fun. I mean. <laughs> He says ruthless, but it's more like it, it, Sumio is being unreasonable. It's like he knows who Juna is. So you need to find someone who can do the, who can actually do the job. I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe. Sumio is seeing something in Juna that we're not quite seeing? Maybe? That maybe she can pull this off? I'm not entirely sure. And yet, Yashio Kyun doesn't seem the least bit surprised that. that. I've never had to say this before. But President San would say something like that. In the end, Juntan has to enter the tournament, regardless of her feelings on the matter. Of course, part of this is because Candy San ordered her to do so, but it's also because Michishi got hurt. Yeah, it's like th this has just created kind of a, a domino effect in a way. By the way, according to Candy San, the hobby robot that Jun Tan is going to use is already being built. Okay, so it, it's, not a, it's not a robot that's already been assembled. All that Juntan has to do is to memorize the operational manual. Operational manual? Operation manual. <laughs> I feel like that's a typo. That sounds easy on paper, but. I mean, it. To, to memorize inputs to 
operate a robot? I mean, that's gonna take some time. And and really, the best p person who can really do that without the use of a manual is the person is the other person who's standing right in front of Daru. <laughs> Kaito, it's like this is your more this is more your area than Juno's. What say you? It's like, how about you uh, kind of pinch hit for Juna? Um, yes, it is. やっぱそうなりますか。仮に実力があったとしても本番で上がっちゃうと何にもならない。そのためには純ちゃんの上がり賞をなんとかするしかないんだけど。それができてたらもうとっくにやってるよ。Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's like if, if if she could have already taken care of her anxiety at more of a younger age, she probably would be able to do it, but Unfortunately, she can't. This you need. She's the one who feels strongest about dealing with her anxiety. All we can do is help her along the way. Yes. It's like that is all they can do. It's like just support her. And, you know, help her the best that way they can. And just kind of, you know, ju just kind of gently be there for her and not try and push her too far. It's like if you if they try and push her, then she will, then she will have an anxiety attack. But if that, but if it was that easy, no one would ever have to worry about anxiety. Uh, th true. Uh, not yet. When is it supposed to be completed? It'll take until the last minute? So... Okay. Th it's gonna take... Until the... Beginning of the tournament to complete the robot? That Jesus, okay. Well, how are they supposed to practice then? Shiosho <laughs> Oh, that, that kind of looks like the Tanigashi machine. Kind of. I, I mean, it has a little bit of a different look than, than the Tanigashi machine, but as, I feel like essentially it is, it is the Tanigashi machine. How many times am I going to say Tanigashi machine? <laughs> Like, I'm just kind of like reading the uh, different points of the uh, robot here. The arm motor is 60 grams. I mean, that isn't that kind of heavy. Torque 58.9 kilogram. Wait. KG Is that an F after the G? I swear it looks like an F. KGF and then CM centimeters? I'm a little confused by that. B 
Yashio Kyun glances through the robot specs that Juntan sent him and then nods. Oh. Huh. Is that also why he looks a lot like the Tanegashi machine? I still find it kind of w weird that they're now referring to the Tanegashi machine as T Tanegashi machine 3 Kai. It wasn't like that in the first game. Tanegashi machine 3 Kai is apparently the name of the robot club's homemade hobby robot. They won second place with it at a tournament last year, or so I've heard. Did Daru, did Daru not see the Robo One tournament last year? Hmm. Kiribara system de sosa de kiri o ni natte run ka. Dakara, Yashio kun ga deta hou ga ii no ni. Exactly. Like Kaito is the best person to do this. Not Juna. It's like, we, we kind of... Oh, God. Now that I'm, like, thinking about it, th this is, like, really flashing back to the first game of when Sumio was trying to get Juna to be the pilot for the, you know, life-size, you know, gun build one slash Gunvarel robot. And Kaito, of course, eventually took over. So... I... I get the feeling, though, that, that since this is Juna's route, that this is going to be reversed. It's like Juna will actually be the one to enter. This is going to be very, very interesting. You would if you could, Kaito? What? Judging by the tone of his voice, Yashio Kyun must be pretty darn good at KB. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, Daru should, uh, strike up a match with <laughs> Kaito. <laughs> Actually see how good he is. He sounds confident as heck. Kiribara system is a good thing. Exactly. Kaito's gonna go easy on her, though, right? I hope. <laughs> I mean, normally, if, if this was, like, Kaito first game, in the first game, he wouldn't hold back. But... It's different now, isn't it? He's gonna hold back. The two pull out their phone droids out and boot up the app. I peek at Yashio Kyun's screen from behind as the title screen loads up and displays its username. His username. Misho. Eh? <laughs> I hear him saying Umishoshi. He he really likes to add she to the end of uh some names. <laughs> so he, he is familiar with that name. Kill Bell and Online used to have more than 20 million active users worldwide at one point. And among them, U Umisho. Since I'm from Daru's point of view, and among them, 
Umishoshi was a player that cons consistently ranked at, in at fifth place. It was fifth place. I was trying to remember. And for the life of me, I couldn't remember in what Kaito's rank, where Kaito, where Kaito's rank was at. Fifth place doesn't sound super impressive at first, but it is when you consider that he was competing with 20 million other players. Yeah. That's one hell of a accomplishment. Now more than before, I understand why Juntan would want Yashio Kyun to enter instead. <laughs> Even while we're preparing for battle, Hashida. Oh, no, wait, I'm from Kaito's point of view now. Even while we're preparing for battle, Hashida san keeps repeating himself. <laughs> I, I can see now behind the phone, we see Daru. Kind of. <laughs> it's kind of obscured. And while I don't mind him watching from behind, I'm feeling a whole lot of pressure coming from him. Or really, Kaito feeling a lot of pressure coming from another person watching you play? But, but... But you know what? I never thought I'd pick up KB again like this. <laughs> I haven't touched it since moving to the mainland to study for a year. You know, after the incident. Really, it's been that long since he's played Kill Ballad? So, I, w I wonder if he'll be a little rusty at all. Probably not, I'll be guessing. Thanks to my inactivity, my rank has dropped pretty significantly. Uh, th that's not surprising, actually. It's like, it's, uh, since it deals with leaderboards, yeah. And since it's... Oh, she is. And since it's been so long, it, it, it's only natural that his ranking would have dropped anyway. Looking at the patch version, I can tell that it's been updated a number of times since last spring. Kojiro Frau is actually quite diligent about this type of thing. I mean, I hope he will. <laughs> then again, I feel like I am going to get control here. Boy, I, I, I feel like this is like really, uh, <laughs> this is, this feels so reminiscent of the first game, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's like actually getting to play Kill Ballad in this game for uh, for the first time. Okay, so he he feels rusty. それはやってみないとわからないでしょ。Daitoku Junjun. やっぱり鈍ってるな。あ、あれ、違う。そうじゃなくて。どうしたの、ジュンちゃん。It's like she's panicking. <laughs> it's like her anxiety is kicking in. Ah, Junta, so it's not wrong way. <laughs> it's like you're, she's going the wrong way. It's like she's in, of, uh, 
She she's not in fight mode. She's in flea mode. <laughs> Wah! Boom! Crunch! <laughs> you win! <laughs> she lost, right? Things go exactly as expected. I may be rusty, but I used to play every day. I never lose to your average player. And Juna is definitely not as good as the average player. I feel bad saying this, but she's no competition. It's like if we want Juna to be confident in her ability to in her possible ability to do this tournament, then Kaito does need to cut her some slack. He's right. I just couldn't help myself. It's been a long time since I've played. Man, KB is still the best. No? No? Oh, there we go. Instead of Kaito, have Daru play her play against her instead. That way she's not facing an opponent that she knows is really good at the game. Then again, we have no idea how good Daru is at Kill Ballad. Eh, Boku? Yeah, you! Come on! Yotta for a, for a brief period of time, KB also acted as a sort of communication tool. I suspect someone like Hashida-san should have some experience playing it. Just a little bit? See? There you go. I decide to pass the baton to Hashida-san. That... <laughs> that rhymes. <laughs> baton, Hashida-san... <laughs> If I play any longer, my KB cravings might become un uncontainable. <laughs> Fair enough. You lose. <laughs> It's like, wh oh, what was that about giving her some slack, Daru? I'm not getting any control. <laughs> uh. Man, it's like th this is just kind of <laughs> this kind of hurts. Just watching, uh. just kind of watching Juna lose over and over is not a confidence booster. And, it j and I'm sure she's feeling completely discouraged. It's making me feel discouraged for her. 
ももう一回。It's like don't push her daughter. We went at it for several rounds, and I'm afraid I've come to the conclusion that Junton's even worse at KB than I expected. I have some experience playing, but I can't say that I'm any good at it. Okay, uh, then. That make that really makes me wonder where his ranking lies at. Eroge are my specialty, <laughs> uh, of course. So if someone like me can beat her easily, then she's definitely got work to do. I mean, definitely. I mean, she's she's just getting anxiety. She's getting anxiety attacks from just playing kill ballad. Like, and so if if she is if she has this much trouble just playing a video game, then doing an actual tournament is going to be extremely difficult for her to do. Oh boy, are are we going to be able to help her? So much work that it's almost devastating. But I feel like her lack of skill isn't the problem right now. That it, it, her lack of skill isn't the problem. Then what is the problem? With these types of games, you normally see gradual improvement after playing for a while. But I just can't see a hint of progress. That's the real issue. Which basically means there's no hope of her getting better. How hard is she trying? It's like, I just wonder. This might be a bigger issue than I thought. I don't no. Yamanantsuka. I wonder what the best thing to say to her is. Atashi, ikutsuka no koto o doji ni suru no te nigate de. Everything that goes on in a video game can be kind of overwhelming for someone who's never played one before. It's like kind of have to ease into it a little bit. It's like a, a lot of a lot of things are coming at you from every direction, and there's so much to navigate and all, and you know, so it's it, it it would kind of induce an anxiety attack for Juna to try and yo know, uh, multitask. Yeah, now, now that I'm thinking about it, it, it's video games are kind of. A good way to learn how to multitask, and you know, a lot of people are not good at multitasking, and Juna appears to be one of those people. Tashkani, mitere to sonna kanji wa suru yo ne. Gamen ni shuuchu shite hidari te de kitai o sousa, mini te de kougeki ya bougyo. Sono ugoki ga zenbu chiguhag datta. In other words, she can't perform different motions simultaneously. I feel like that's the nail in the coffin. Jun-chan, te, ryori wa suru nda yo ne. She does. Does yeah. At home, she she's the one who cooks for her family. Eh, oh, oh. Okay, so make so play kill ballad. It's like it's like for Juna, 
play Kill Ballad as if you were cooking something. That's what Kaito was trying to say. My bad. <laughs> Sasin. I mean, it is. It is, definitely. It's like I was kind of doing the same thing <laughs> before I sat down to record. It's like I was, I was making one of my favorite dishes. Uh, you know, like breaded cube steaks with a uh, onion cream sauce. And uh, as a side dish, Brussels sprouts. I know a lot of people don't like Brussels sprouts, but I love them. And you know, it trying to keep tabs on everything on the stove, making sure everything's good and things are not getting uh, overheated or undercooked. It's like, do you have to pay attention to those things? So yeah, it's like Juna just ha has to play Kill Ballad as if she were cooking. I see. After my daughter was born, I started helping out with cooking and noticed that it requires a lot of planning. Yes. If you want to talk about preparation for a meal, the preparation it takes to make ratatouille. Ugh. So much. I'm so glad that I actually have made ratatouille myself and have, you know, actually eaten it. It is a lot of preparation, a lot of, uh, a lot of cutting vegetables, <laughs> but it turned out good. It's like, that was a number of years ago. It's like my mom has this, uh, vegetarian cookbook and I saw that it had ratatouille in it and I'm like I want to try making ratatouille only done it once and it's like the just the preparation alone I felt like took uh, probably half an hour f to 40 minutes probably Plus, if you want to serve multiple warm dishes, you need to make them simultaneously. Yes. After hearing Yashio Kyun bring it up, he might be right. Gaming and cooking have quite a bit in common. But... <laughs> it's like, n never would I have thought to use gaming and cooking as a, as a similar way to look at multitasking. It's like video gaming and cooking are two, two very different things, but it's like now that like we're like getting this conversation, I wouldn't have before considered gaming and cooking to be so similar. But I guess there you go. <laughs> and I love to do both. It's like I love the game, love to cook. I mean, it is a little different, yeah. It doesn't seem like it's that. It doesn't seem like that's getting through to Junton. I mean, g cooking is a little different in terms of, like, the, like, the preparation. It's like, there's no preparation with gaming, really. It's like, you just sit your butt down. You sit your butt down, turn on your console, pop a game in, and play. I, uh, um... Well, I say pop a game in, but then again, there are digital games, so it's like, just sit your butt down, turn it on your console, and play a game. There's really not much uh, preparation at all. 
But with cooking, there's... There can be quite a lot of preparation. じゃあ、空手はどう空手だって相手の出方を観察して、それに反応して対応するってことで、プロセスはゲームと同じじゃない? Man. The, just this whole conversation is just kind of enlightening to me. It's like gaming, cooking and karate. All similar. I, <laughs> I mean, this is, like, fascinating. But uh, also kind of, like, eye-opening at the same time. It's like, it's so kind of... I don't know. It. I don't know how to put it. It's just... Um, it's just amazingly coincidental that... Gaming, cooking, and karate all focuses on multitasking. Karate wa kangaeru mai ni karada ga hanno shi chau kara. Well, sure. But it does take concentration. それはゲームだって一緒だよ。うーん。でも、ゲームの時はついに頭で考えちゃって。With games, I can't help but get inside of my head. I'm trying to decipher this line. Uh, what, what exactly does she mean? Right. I get what she's saying. I do too. With games, each button corresponds to a certain action. Push one to punch or to fire missiles. It requires a different process in the intermediary. You look at the screen, understand it, and your finger's movements are converted to the movements of the robots on the screen. Maybe this process is what gets in her head. Huh. Okay. This undoubtedly causes a slowdown in terms of movement. So June is having trouble trying to keep keep up with what the game expects of her. Okay. That that makes more sense now then. Very much so. It's gonna be very tough. Being able to play video games is a form of talent. To a degree, yes. I mean, there's there's not so much talent involved in playing a visual novel <laughs> as I am here. That's why there are pro gamers out there. Yes. So so mo kono kirubara system o tsukai koto jitai jintan ni muite nai to omoare. I mean, that's one way to put it. But There's another way? What? Whoa, I just sound like a commander in a robot anime. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Modify the system itself. So, 
basically like what we did with uh, gun with gun build one in the first game. Modify the system. Mo modify. No wait. Not with uh, not with gun build with uh, the the Tanigashi machine. You know, since we implemented the kill ballot system with the with the Tanigashi machine, they're gonna basically do the same thing again here. Well, I think this is a good place to stop for now. You know, we, we got into an interesting conversation about multitasking. Really opened my eyes. <laughs> you know, comparing cooking and gaming and karate. So... I guess we'll continue on next time with talking to Sumio. So I hope you all enjoyed watching, and thank you all for watching as well. And if you enjoyed the video and want to see more, like, favorite, and claw that subscribe button to become part of the pack. And as always, everyone, I hope you all have a wonderful day or night, wherever you may be.